Apple is always about pushing the envelope, about doing the best thing possible. And that's different from any company industry. A lot of companies, in terms of making it the, the highest quality or the most elegant, they will stop at some point because it's too hard. And Apple will never give up because it's too hard or it's impossible. There's no company in the world where there is such a a reverence uh, for expertise. You don't come to Apple unless you're really good at what you do. The reason you're here, the reason you were hired, is because you're at the top of your field or you have the potential to be at the top of your field. There's a belief in the power of small teams to do really great things. That if you get the right people in the room with this notion of let's just do something really great, then great things can happen. Thinking outside the box, it's funny. We don't even really think about the box. When we go out to do something, we don't start by saying, what is everyone else doing? And therefore, what are the best practices and what should we do? I think we look to say, what's the best it possibly can be? We never stop, really. I mean, we're always refining, refining, refining every little last detail until there's no more time to refine. There is no such thing as good enough. It just has to be the best. One of the unique things about Apple is the level of cross-collaboration between different groups. When we decided to redesign the batteries for our portable products, the goal was fairly simple, to design a smaller battery that would last longer. We had to start with a new chemistry, a new mechanical design, a completely different industrial design. Our environmental team was involved. It just touched at so many different parts of the company. And that's how new technology is done at Apple. It involves everybody. The difference between a good product and a great product is that attention to detail. When we started the design of the iPad 2, we knew from the very beginning that the cover was going to be a really important part of the story. The big challenge was how do you attach the cover? Our implementation of magnets was a really challenging engineering task. One of the engineers on the team actually became an expert in doing computer simulations on, on magnetic field. It was a tremendous amount of work by a large number of people who, through the course of this product, have become you know, genuine experts in, in new areas because they had to to figure out how to make this product. まあ、I think uh, certainly a hard work ethic is important because there's so much work put into making anything, be it a product or a piece of marketing or some software. What's presented to the consumer is this kind of effortless ease. You don't really know how much work goes on underneath the surface, but believe me, there's a lot. No hay una sola manera de resolver un problema. De ser flexible y adaptable son características muy importantes si quiere uno trabajar en Apple. Los que trabajan aquí tienen la capacidad de adaptarse rápidamente a circunstancias que cambian constantemente. The best part of working at Apple is actually the, the feeling that what you've brought to the table has contributed to something greater than yourself. And in that way, you're changing the world. We're introducing mind-boggling new, gotta have it, scramble, lines around the building kind of products. And I love my role in making that happen. You will get more out of working here for two years than you will get out of working at any other company for five years, easily. There's a lot of places you can find happiness. Work, when structured right, is one of the few places you can really find meaning. And I think what Apple gives the employees is the opportunity to be part of something really, really meaningful.